Ever wondered what the three spot is for Madden 24 Stadium tickets, merchandise, and concessions is? I'm going to reveal the ultimate sweet spot for all three. After this video, you should never have a problem making funds in Madden 24 franchise mode. So quick disclaimer, 95% of this video is from tips from a Redditor by the name of Perry Apsis, I think his name is. He's still active on Reddit, so go tell him thank you. And he actually has a detailed Excel sheet to allow you to deeper manage your prices. However, it's from Madden 17 and it still works minus the extra week 18. The NFL recently added, but Madden hasn't changed anything on their prices, so I've been using it since last year and it's helped me make a lot of money in my franchises thus far and still does so again his link is in the description go show him love because without him this video would not be happening right now so stadium prices but ticket prices honestly it's very simple you can just price the suites club and limousine prices at the most expensive and i typically keep the upper level seats at around 40 to 50. if my team is one of the worst or not even a playoff team i typically lower all my prices by about 20 to 30 dollars in primetime games i typically raise 10 to 20 if the prices aren't maxed already finally the last adjustment i may make to ticket prices are in the playoffs i charge the most for every ticket Fans are always going to complain. Don't worry about their complaints about the prices. Unless you undercut prices, they're always going to have an issue with them. However, it really doesn't affect anything in my opinion and you're still going to make money. For merchandise prices, merchandise is where the real sweet spots are. The best sweet spots are $90 for the Nike home game jersey, $20 for the Nike dry fit t-shirt, $40 for the Super Bowl t-shirt, $30 for the 59 fitted hat, $55 for the Nike sweatshirt, $60 for the Nike jacket, and $30 for the Nike knit hat. When it comes to a player jerseys, typically $90 to $100 are the best prices for all the jerseys. If your team is doing bad, you can lower them by about $10 or if you have a top player in this position in popularity, you can try raising the prices for about $10 to $20, but the sweet spot I like is about $90 to $100. Finally, the memorabilia, the price I like to go with is $275 and $20 for the Riddell mini helmet. But again, depending on how bad your team is doing or how good the player signing the football is, you can play around with these prices a little bit. Finally, concession prices. Like stated before, 95% of this data and prices is from Periapis. And to make things simple with concessions, there should be a link in the description to his IMG page that he made. Here, he actually has sweet spots for the concessions and a lot of pictures for each team and data on why he believes these are the best prices because he said each city and type of food has different prices. Looking at this link is probably the easiest thing to do because you can just look at the picture for whatever city or team that you have and actually just copy the prices and actually add them into your prices. However, he doesn't have a lot of the rebranded teams. So for these, what I like to do is just try to find a similar team or a nearby team in the general area or similar food items and actually just copy those prices. That's what I normally do. Try to make this video very short. It's not that hard. It's not a hard concept again. Without periapsis, this video wouldn't have happened. Hopefully this video helped. It was very short. I tried to make it short, guys. I don't want to drag this on. But if this video helped, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps the channel. You can click the video on the left or the right to watch another video by me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the continued support. To the next one. I love you guys to the moon and back. I'm out. Peace. Sub to Cosmos, best YouTuber in the world. Sub to Cosmos, best YouTuber in the world. Yeah, great content back to back. Bitch dropping like flapjacks, like comment, need feedback. One case, I appreciate that. For a mood, let's stay on track. Keep on shining, my stars. I love you to the moon and back.